All right, welcome back to another episode of Can of Worms. Tonight, uh, it is me, Brian. I'm here with Chris, Nick, and Cedric. Say what's up, fellas. Yo. Hey, hey, how's it going? All right, that's a lot better than our first video. God, we were dying. <laughs> uh, but welcome back to our subscribers and anybody new. Hopefully, you're not as tired as we are. Uh, it's an allergy season. I don't think anybody can help it. Uh, we are going to be talking about the Destiny 2 pricing scheme for the Witch Queen uh, expansion coming in 2022. Uh, it has pissed people off. Um, so what do you guys know about it already? Like, Cedric, I know you're pretty well-versed in it. but I haven't like, seen anything about it yet. I heard you guys talking about it, but that's about it. Right. I actually, I, I, I've heard that they've changed, but I actually... Uh... So been... it's it's pretty gross, uh, to be honest, man. Because if you buy like the regular Witch Queen, um, you know, it's like 40 bucks, I think, which is their pretty standard fare for uh, Destiny 2. And then if you want to have, there are three dungeons that they are splitting up and selling, um, not with the actual expansion like they've always done, but uh -huh. two of them come bundled in, I believe, the Deluxe Edition. And then uh, one final dungeon comes bundled with the 30th anniversary uh, bundle. Um, I'm using uh, you know big fake quotes. It, it's ridiculous. They're trying to basically charge about a hundred bucks for this new expansion, but they're trying to do it in a clever way. Is is how people are are taking it. That's so. It sounds like the Apple scheme. It's scummy. That that already sounds like pretty egregious but the thing that immediately catches my interest in that is i was one of the people who completed all the raids before i forget what uh, expansion it was but you complete all the raids i paid 120 dollars for my ring after getting the discount code for it and i wonder if they're going to still continue to do promotions like that in the game which would mean people are getting hard locked out of it if they don't pay for these higher bundles well, what they're saying is that, um, you know, they're like, well, you can you can buy it separately. In addition, you can upgrade later, like piecemeal if you want. Right. And they've also said, you know, we're going to come up with ways that you can, you know, get the content in game or through some other means, which probably they're thinking Eververse or is that still around even? I haven't played. Yeah, it, it still is. OK, so but the, probably something the, like that. The the thing that I'm saying, though, is that's already bad by itself. But like the the moment of triumphs are moments of triumph uh, ring that I have. Uh, the way that you got the ring is by completing all the raids up to a certain point. And oh. then that would uh, basically once you get the achievement, the associated email in the account would get sent a discount for the ring. So mm. if they do a promotion similar to that, and they did it for Destiny 1 as well. It's not the first time they've done this. If they do a similar promotion, would that mean that, you know, they would be basically putting the players in a position where, hey, um, the only way that you can get this exclusive uh, discount for the things on our store is if you also give us the extra money for this content rather than, you know, what they've done in the past, which is just, Hey, it's in the fucking expansion. Like it should be. Like, yeah. Like I remember, in like, and I feel weird now, but like in like the late '90s and you know, like the early 2000s. I guess the last time I can really remember it, it used to be like a game would come out, and then maybe if it was really good, like uh, six months to a year later, you'd have like an actual expansion. Um, I like DLC has kind of thrown all of that away, and. It's, I get it. It's a way for companies like publishers to make more money on their, you know, return on investment. You have to make back what you're spending, at least in the beginning. But I, I just have to wonder, like, what sort of um, precarious situation is Bungie in financially that they thought this made sense? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't even think it's that. I, if I had to guess, it's more of a situation of, Someone came up with that idea and they said, well, let's see what happens. I mean, I don't know. Worst, I, worst case, they renege on the deal and they find a different structure that's more suitable for the players. 
I feel like from from a perspective of a business, that may be where that idea came from was, well, let's try it. Worst case scenario, we can renege on the deal. Oh, and the Gallerhorn is going to come um, with that anniversary bundle that's, I guess, $25, um, which was the exotic rocket launcher, I think, from part one. Maybe. Yeah, I I remember the Gallahorn very well. <laughs> yeah, so they're bringing that back. They're bringing like a whole bunch of stuff out. Um, and in fact, the amount of stuff that they were giving out, it almost started to feel like they were desperate when I was reading through the list. I was like, good God, this, these are all like things people, you know, would have on their wish list. And now they're getting all of them all at once, like years after the game is out. It, um, I don't know. To me, that sort of smacks. It's this sort point. of like, uh, hey, we got your, uh, we got you a new video game console. By the way, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and your mom's house has no power. So yeah. You, um, Setter, you, I think, were the only one who played the last DLC for Destiny Two. Was there a hundred dollars worth of content there? No. <laughs> wow yeah, there was no, no one no hesitation didn't want to think me, about that. it's sad because i really like destiny and i didn't realize how much i liked destiny until like i saw the trailer for the new expansion and it really does have me hyped mm-hmm. and just to hear this it's so deflating because i know i'm really interested in what happens next with that um and the gun very game's exciting so yeah, usually. And and so, no, no, there's usually never a hundred dollars worth of content there. Um they won't even be released yeah. at launch. That's the sad thing. None of those three dungeons will be in the DLC at launch. Yeah, or in the expansion at launch. Uh they're all coming after the fact later on, but they want to collect the money up front. It looks like um the uh and, and the weird thing is the the third dungeon, I'm wondering if it's even a real dungeon, so to speak. Um, because they're calling it a unique treasure based or treasure themed cosmodrome dungeon so i guess like the russian cosmodrome like the very first uh, zone from destiny one i think um, is going to be where that that third dungeon that they're locking behind that anniversary that 30th anniversary bundle i had no idea that bungie had been around for 30 years either yeah i mean they made games well before halo well does anybody know what like their first game was because wasn't it like Marathon on the Mac? Something crazy Let like me. that? I'm going to Google it right now. Yeah, uh, now I'm actually curious. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a stupid well, tangent. but Sure as hell wasn't Destiny 2. I don't know why that came up. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> well, for... it, was a, it was a Pong clone. It was a... Oh, wow. I had no idea they cloned that game. It was called Gnop. Wow. What? Or a... Nop. Maybe the G no. is silent, but... Yeah, maybe the person spelling it was kicked in the head by like a large farm animal. That doesn't make sense. It's a word. Well, maybe they're the one that you know. Maybe <laughs> they maybe, the maybe it's structure. yeah. Maybe it's like a, a fucking union, and they can't fire them. And then uh, we know it's not a union because it's the game industry. But uh, they they don't <laughs> want to fire him because he's been around forever. But it's just like he's the one in the back of the marketing meeting shouting these weird fucking marketing ideas <laughs> he's entirely useless they just keep him around like wheel him out in front of the press to actually drop the news that they're gonna <laughs> try and charge people all this extra money wheel uh, someone out grandpa says that you should pay for all of them <laughs> you get what you pay for nothing is free we'll see you in destiny two <laughs> is it two or is it three i can't hear you that's all i can think of and they shits into the microphone. Yes, <laughs> that's terrible. I guess we'll we'll uh, we'll you know keep an eye on that one as it as the news comes. I don't think there's any way they'll be able to keep that structure in place and launch in a good place because they're getting flayed alive um, PR wise over that decision. I don't know if you play Destiny Two. Is it going to be a deal breaker for you or? Is it anything that you actually even care about, like all the extra swag that comes with, uh, you know, the deluxe and the anniversary editions? Are you just there for the base game? Now let us know in the comments, because I know that I am definitely a swag whore. I'm terrible for that. What about you guys? I am not paying for individual dungeons and raids. They can eat my whole <laughs> ass and <laughs> with my balls. Okay, <laughs> yes, but fair enough. Um, but in other <laughs> games. <laughs> 
It depends. It honestly depends on the content they provide beforehand and, and, and how those dungeons are going to fit in and if the replayability of it and those things. Like, it really just depends. I, like, have, it depends. have soundtracks ever meant anything to you guys? Yes. Really? Okay. Yeah. It, on the game. No, until they do. I, no, don't remember, I love good a good one. video game soundtrack and, you know, but uh, physical usually soundtrack, I, a physical soundtrack means a lot to me. Well, OK, yeah, that's a dif- that's different because there's usually like packaging. It's a collector's item at that point. But like, there's you know, when I'm, it comes with it. Yeah, exactly. It, but when I'm seeing like pre-order stuff and it's like original OST soundtrack, I'm like, you mean you're going to unlock the files? Like, that's it. Because a lot of them, mm-hmm. that's all it does. And it just does that. And then it syncs it up with the uh, the music player in Steam. Which, yeah, I'll wait an hour for yeah. someone to post it on YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, we'll update uh, Destiny 2 news as it comes in. Uh, thanks for sticking around with us. You have a good one. Take care. No. All right. <laughs> Our endings are so like, oh.